Hello everyone. In this section, we will explore the midbrain, a crucial part of the brainstem. The midbrain is involved in variety of functions, particularly those related to sensory processing, motor control and reflexes. So to better understand its role, we will break down its structures, location, components and functions in detail. So let me talk initially about uh, the structure and location. So now let us see over here guys. So the midbrain is located posterior to the cerebral aqueduct which connects the third and fourth ventricles of the brain and it forms the roof of the midbrain and plays a key role in connecting different parts of the brain especially the forebrain and the hindbrain. It serves as a critical relay station for various sensory and motor pathways. So what are the components of the midbrain? The midbrain has two main components that are essential for its function. The first one is tectum and second one is tegmentum. So each of these components has specific roles in sensory processing and motor control which particularly focuses on vision and hearing. So first let us talk about the tectum of the midbrain. So the tectum is located posterior to the cerebral aqueduct and forms the roof of the midbrain. This region plays a significant role in sensory processing, particularly in relation to visual and auditory reflexes. The tectum contains two key structures, superior and inferior colliculi. First, let me talk about the superior colliculi. So these are the paid structures located on the dorsal side of the midbrain. They are involved in visual processing and eye movements. And the primary function of the superior colliculi is to relay voluntary and involuntary eye movements such as sockets, which are rapid jerky movements of the eye when shifting focus. Additionally, they are also responsible for optic reflexes such as reflexive movement of the eyes in response to that of visual stimuli. So the superior colliculi receive input from the retina of the eye and the pretectal area which is involved in controlling pupillary light reflexes and then send these projections to the lateral geniculate bodies a part of the thalamus for further processing of the visual information. So this is about the superior colliculi. Now let's talk about the inferior colliculi. The inferior colliculi are located in the tectum and are primarily involved in the auditory pathways. They play a key role in processing auditory information and sound localization. So the inferior colliculi receive input from the lateral lemniscus, a major auditory pathway and relay information to the medial geniculate bodies which are the part of the thalamus and involved in the auditory perception. So this is about the superior as well as inferior colliculus. Now let's talk about the function and characteristics of the tectum. In that first is the superior colliculi. We know that relay eye movements both voluntary and involuntary, facilitate optic reflexes that is pupillary reflex and tracking movement and receive visual input from the retina and the pretectal area and project to the lateral geniculate bodies for the further visual processing. This is what we have studied. And when we talk again about the inferior colliculi, it's a part of the auditory pathway, receive input from the lateral lemniscus, which are the bundle of nerve fibers carrying auditory information and project it into the medial geniculate bodies for further auditory processing. So by this, we have understood well about the superior and inferior colliculus. And by this, we completed what is the tectum of the midbrain. So now after finishing the tectum of the midbrain, in this section, we will focus on the tegmentum of the midbrain, which plays a pi vital role in sensory processing and motor function. So the tegmentum is located between the tectum, that is roof of the midbrain, and base of the midbrain, extending from midbrain to the pons. So it contains several key structures that are involved in extra pyramidal motor control, eye movement and sensory pathways. So what are the key components of the tegmentum guys? So remember the tegmentum houses several important structures which are involved in sensory processing, motor control and cranial nerve function. So these include oculomotor nerve which is a cranial nerve number 3, trochlear nerve which is a cranial nerve number 4 that is oculomotor nerve and cranial nerve nuclei I mean to say, 
Next is the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve, which is the cranial nerve number 5, substantia nigra, and the red nucleus. So, all these four are the components of the tegmentum. So, first is about the oculomotor nerve and trochlear nerve nuclei. We are talking about the nuclei, but not about the course of the nerve. So, the oculomotor nerve, which is the cranial nerve number 3, and the trochlear nerve, which is the cranial nerve number 4, originate from the tegmentum and are responsible for eye movements. So, let us talk about few important points about these two nerve nuclei as well as the nerves, functions we can say. Oculomotor nerve, which is the cranial nerve number 3, this nerve controls most of the eye's motor movements, including the movements of the levator palpebrae superioris, which raises the eyelid, and pupillary reflex, that is constriction of the pupil in response to that of light, and also controls the ciliary muscles, that is for the accommodation of lens. These are the main functions of the oculomotor nerve through its nucleus, we can say. Next is the trochlear nerve. So, the trochlear nerve is unique because it is the only cranial nerve that emerges from the posterior aspect of the brainstem. So, it controls the superior oblique muscle which helps with downward as well as inward eye movement. So, both of these cranial nerve nuclei are located in the tegmentum of the midbrain controlling fine control over eye movement. So, this is what we need to know about the tegmentum and the nucleus over whatever we have discussed here. And second important one is the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. So, the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve is a sensory nucleus located in the tegmentum. So, this nucleus plays an important role in proprioception, that is sense of body position for the muscles of mastication, right? So, it is unique in that it is the only part of the trigeminal nerve that contains pseudo-unipolar neurons which typically reside in the ganglion of the nerve. So, these neurons carry sensory information related to jaw and muscles of the chewing. This is crucial for understanding the position and movement of the jaw during activities of chewing. So, this is what is about the mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. And next is about the substantia nigra. So, the substantia nigra is a critical component of the basal ganglia which are involved in modulation of motor activity. So, it composed of two parts. One is pars compacta and next one is pars reticulata. Pars compacta. So, this area contains dopaminergic neurons which are essential for smooth controlled movement and the loss of these neurons is associated with Parkinson's disease which is a neurodegenerative disorder that affects motor control leading to symptoms like tremors, rigidity, bradykinesia which is the slowness of the movement. And next one is the pars reticulata. So, this part of the substantia nigra is involved in output of the basal ganglia and mainly helps to regulate voluntary motor movements, modulating signals that travel to the thalamus and the cortex, right? So, together, pars compacta and reticulata, together, the substantia nigra plays a crucial role in the extrapyramidal motor system, which is responsible for regulating involuntary motor functions such as posture, muscle tone, and coordination. So, Next is the red nucleus. So, the red nucleus is another important structure which is mainly involved in modulation of the motor function. It is also located in the tegmentum of the midbrain and plays a role in motor coordination, particularly for the movements of upper limbs. So, the red nucleus is involved in somatic motor control through its connections to the cerebellum and the spinal cord. So, it helps refine motor movements, particularly for gross motor tasks like arm and hand movements. So, it is also the part of the rubrospinal tract which is involved in controlling flexor muscles and coordinating a precise movement of the arms. So, this is what we need to know about the red nucleus. So, finally, what are the functions of tegmentum based on whatever we have studied here? The tegmentum plays an important role in multiple systems, right? Based on whatever we studied right now. It contains nuclei of cranial nerves such as oculomotor and trochlear nerves which control eye movements. And next, we studied about mesencephalic nucleus of the trigeminal nerve, possesses sensory information related to jaw and chewing muscles. And substantia nigra, we know that pars compact and reticulata involved in the regulation of motor movements, particularly through its dopaminergic neurons. And finally, the red nucleus, which is the integral to the motor coordination and upper limb movements. So, by this, we have completed in detail about the midbrain as well as its functions. So, in detail, we have covered everything related to tectum as well as tegmentum.